You're watching another great catfishing video from Learn to Catch Catfish with your host, professional guide, Chad Ferguson. Catfishing TV covers tips, tricks, and information to help you learn how to catch more and bigger catfish on your next fishing trip. The ultimate resource available for expert catfishing information. After watching, make sure you visit LearnToCatchCatfish.com. Now, here's your host, Chad Ferguson. Hey, this is Chad Ferguson, LearnToCatchCatfish.com. I'm going to talk today about another rig for fishing for catfish. It's called a float rig. And if you haven't already seen the article, look at the article I have about the modified three-way rig because that's going to really cover the basis of what you need for this kind of rig. You have your main line that's running to your fishing rod. You have a barrel swivel attached here. You have your leader with a hook running off of it. And then your line that comes down here and runs to your weight that sits on the bottom. And what this does is, you know, the weight sits on the bottom and the line runs up, which allows this bait to suspend off the bottom of the lake or river. Uh, now, the difference between a three-way rig or a modified three-way rig and a float rig is that a float rig has a bobber or a float added to this rig. I've seen this done two different ways. Um, I've seen this done with a slip bobber and then I've seen it done with peg floats like you use on a Santee rig for catfish. Um, I've tried it both ways and you know the, the slip bobber just seems like overkill to me. So I've always used the uh, peg floats for this, but I use a much larger peg float than I'll use on a Santee rig. I use about a three inch peg float. And what you do is just add that peg float here below your barrel swivel to this rig and what that peg float does is helps to suspend this rig up off the bottom of the lake a lot of times uh, if you're fishing anchored or even if you're drift fishing and what's happened if you can picture your lines running up to your boat and your boat's rocking back and forth with the waves and uh, the motion of the water and when you do that your boat goes forward and you get a whole bunch of slack in your line well this rig drops down towards the bottom and then the boat drips and rocks back the other direction and this rig pop this line pulls tight and this rig pops up which pulls this line up this way a little bit and pulls your sinker back and it causes just just to be very erratic um, is what you would have with a three-way rig. So the addition of this peg float uh, helps to hold this rig up off the bottom of the lake so the bait's not down in the mud and then also uh, helps to stabilize that down in the water. You know if you've got a whole bunch of erratic movement especially on a real windy day um, you know this can make a whole lot of difference uh, as far as, as keeping your rig in one place in the water and keep it from jerking around and moving and getting slack and everything else. Um, I've used these quite a bit in the past and experimented with them. Uh, I'm not real crazy about them. I prefer a Santee rig to um, fishing with this type of setup, but I do know a lot of people that use them and that are very effective at catching catfish with them. Um, the length of line from your weight to your dropper is going to depend on where the catfish are in the water column and how deep you want to be fishing. Um, and I would use 40 to 50 pound mono for this kind of setup. Uh, again, not one of my real go-to rigs for fishing for catfish. But, uh, you know, again, I do know a lot of people who are very effective with it and, and that really prefer fishing with this kind of setup. Once you're done watching this video, go down below and leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you do. And if you have questions, let us know. If you're not viewing this video on LearnToCatchCatfish.com, 
make sure that you go there and check out all the catfishing tips and tricks that we have on our website and all the other catfish rigs that we've covered. There's a ton of information there to help you get started catching more and bigger catfish the next time you go out on your fishing trip. Until next time, again, this is Chad Ferguson, LearnToCatchCatfish.com. Thank <laughs> you.